As I mentioned early on in the introduction, I've been an art dealer for probably 30 years, dealing with paintings from Bierstadt to Basquiat. And when I can incorporate an art piece, a true art piece, into my show, I always enjoy doing it. And what you see here are two paintings depicting the game, Harvard versus Yale, from probably 1931 or 1932, by a well-known uh, illustrator named Harold von Schmidt, who lived almost 90 years old. Uh, I think it was dates around 1890 to 1982. Here are two paintings that he did uh, that depict the Harvard versus Yale game, but was also used as featured paintings uh, in a story called Kid Brother by Francis Cockrell in Cosmopolitan Magazine in the 1933 issue. Very rarely do you see uh, football paintings, especially college football paintings, of such an important rivalry as the Harvard versus Yale football game. And we have them, they're both pretty major works, measuring somewhere between 24 by 40, and I think uh, 30 by 40. As you know, in the past, we've always enjoyed adding artwork to our shows. And one of the artists that we have, part of my parents' collection, is Ben Gans. And Mr. Gans uh, did New York City scenes of churches, synagogues, and much of New York City. And uh, for our particular case here, uh, we, he has done a number of really interesting watercolors dealing with Yankee Stadium in the 1930s. And we thought they would make a fine addition for the show. And let's take a look at some of them. Here is, in 1933, his rendition of Yankee Stadium and the Polo Grounds, the two great stadiums that Ruth conquered both of them. And I thought that they would be great additions for the show. Here is Yankee Stadium that I kind of remember, the early Yankee Stadium that I went to in the late 60s. And um, what I remember were the pillars. And as you can see with the pillars, uh, if you got that seat behind one, you spent the whole day doing this type of thing. Uh, maybe it was great exercise, but it was a little bit frustrating at times. But I just thought it was great to get that view of, of what it would be like to watch the great Yankee teams in the 30s, 20s, and even, even 40s. I've always enjoyed history, and when I look at this particular watercolor of Ben Gantz of 1936 uh, showing Yankee Stadium from Jerome Avenue, what I found fascinating was the subway train going by. Uh, as a kid, even in the late 60s, this was covered up by billboards. So just imagine when you were traveling on the, on the train, you'd be able to see the Earl Combs, the Joe DiMaggio's, the Babe Ruth's. You know, I, I have no idea. I, I'm pretty certain that I would have been the kid who pulled the chain and stopped the, uh, the, the train from going just so I could watch a few more minutes of these great sh views and these great teams. But anyway, this is something special. You don't often see a watercolor or any artwork celebrating Yankee Stadium in such an int interesting uh, fashion.